Hey guys, today I have an updated cube collection video. Alright, so starting off, these are all my puzzles from beginning to end. Um, let me see if this is focused. So, um, in total, I think it was 46 puzzles that I own as of now. Um, I actually have two puzzles that I just ordered, and now I'm actually broke. I said that like a month ago that I was broke and I couldn't buy any puzzles. But now I actually am, um, so I can't really buy any more puzzles uh, for a little while. Um, but I just bought two, and they should be here Wednesday, so you guys will get an unboxing of those when they get here. So we're just going to start off with 3x3s. Three three. As you can see, that is what takes up most of my collection. So starting off here, we have a V-Cube, Pillow V-Cube 3. Pretty nice. I mean, that was my, um, I think I got this after the Rubik's brand, which is right here. I actually restickered this with um, duct tape stickers, which I made uh, by myself. I got into duct tape a while ago and um, just made some stickers for these. Um, as you can see, I put purple instead of red. Um, and that's how it turns. Pretty bad. But that was my first Rubik's uh, brand cube. Then I went to get this one. Um, just another Rubik's brand. As you can see. Um, I don't know why I got it. I just sort of wanted another one to have. Not really sure why I bought it. But uh, anyways, moving on. Um, then the first speed cube I actually got was a uh, stickerless Diane Zanchi. That's what we have there. And then we have a white one and a black one. This one actually turns really good. So, really good. That was my main for a long time. I'm sure everyone had that as their main at some point. Um, and then we have the 50mm uh, Zanchi. Uh, Maru CX3. Uh, Waylong V2. Fengshi V2. Gans 3. Uh, or Gans 57, I think. Um, and then a, uh, <laughs> I'm spacing out right now, a, uh, Li Ying. Um, and then this Panchi, which is actually pretty bad. Um, the center caps pop off a bunch. Um, almost every time I saw that it pops off, so, not a great cube. Um, I think everyone thought it was for a while, but I don't know. I don't really like it that much. Um, and then these... Um, when I actually started cubing, which was in the summer of 2013, um, September's my birthday, so after the summer I had my birthday, and it was all about cubing. Um, so I think for my birthday party we gave out these out as uh, party favors, so pretty cool. Just like little Rubik's Cube keychains, um, but I have a bunch of those. And then we have this, this is Maru, right? Yeah, Maru, little mini cube. I'm not sure, I'm sure how many uh, millimeters that is. Um, but anyways, um, moving to the next row of 3 by 3s So six of these Yulongs. Um, I did not use Cyclone Boys 3 by 3s because, um, I don't know, I just wanted them to be nicer. I thought these turned better. So we have a white, yellow, orange, red, green, and blue Yulong. Um, took me a total of three or four hours to make. Um, uh, yeah, so this is the one that is missing a center cap. They actually sent me this without a center cap. Never emailed them about it, so they're probably not gonna care right too much right now if I uh, email them now. But that one, that red one, does not have a center cap. So all those are Yulongs. And then here we have a white uh, Owlong, just V1. Um, I actually got into white cubes at that time. I was like, you know, let's buy a bunch of white cubes, which I actually got this one. And then this Panchi, I think I got some other one too. Oh, the, uh, was it the square one? I think it was. In one package, because I was getting into white cubes. So I bought the Allen V1, and by the time that I didn't like white cubes, I wanted to start back into black cubes, they discontinued the black Allen V1. So I actually never got the chance to chance to get a regular Allen V1 in black, so that kind of sucks, but what are you going to do about it? Um, and then I moved on to the Mini V1, Allong Mini V1, um, and this has been my main since it came out probably. So I have two of those, um, just decided to get another one because I loved it so much. Uh, I think this, 
Yeah, this one's my main right here. Good cube. Love it. Might need a sticker change on that. Uh, I don't know. But there's that. Get that back in there. Um, and then we have a Along V2. These stickers I've actually... Oh, I guess there's a chip right there, but... These, these stickers are actually holding up pretty well. Because I actually don't use it a lot. Um, this was going to be my main, but... Because I actually got like a 13 second average on it. And I was like, ooh, that's, you know, so good for me. But, um... After that, I didn't get any good time, so I guess it was just lucky. So, I'll only be two. I don't really like it that much. Um, and then we have a, I think this is the Guanlong. Yeah. Yeah, Guanlong. It's decent. A lot of people are actually liking it right now. I just feel like it's light and cheap. It just feels cheap. So, well, because it is cheap. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't really like it that much. And then we have a um, Shang Chao Aurora. I like this when I actually got it. Um, thought it was pretty fast and smooth. Corner cutting, not that great. Um, but then there's that. And then we have the 42mm Zanchi. Really, you know, just cool to have. Because it's so tiny, portable, um, and just cool to have. Um, and then moving on, we have the 4x4s. This is a long cube collection video. A lot of talking. Um, 4x4s. So, Land Land. Uh, that was my first 4x4, got it off of Amazon, and right here, as you can see, um, it is taped right there because um, I think a piece chipped off of the center, one of these centers, a piece got like, I don't know how it happened, but it got chipped off, and uh, the center does not go back in, so I just taped it there, so, it's kind of like a, one of those, what are those cubes called? Not a latch cube, is that what it is? Where you can't, a bandage, bandage, it's kind of what it is. But you can't solve it. Um, so that's that. Keeps kind of ruined. And then we have the Moyu Osu. Osu. Um, this cube is is you know it's pretty great. Um, it does lock up a lot, um, but I don't know. I like it. Uh, but I didn't have enough money to actually buy the Mini Osu or the Yuxin, which is what I kind of wanted to get. Um, but you will see actually in the order. I don't want to tell you guys what I'm going to get, what I ordered. You'll see when I get it on Wednesday. Um, next is the 5x5s. Um, I only have one 5x5. And it's the uh, Shang Shao 5x5. Just the regular Shang Shao. It's nice. Um, I don't really sell 5x5 that much. Um, I kind of want to get into 5x5. And I think I need to learn one more algorithm for this. It's for like the two last two edges. I need help with that. If you guys want to Skype uh, message me or call, I need some help with 5x5. Um, and then we have the 7x7s. I have two. Uh, Mini Shang Shao 7x7. Um, it was solved. I finally solved it. I think it was the second time I solved it. Um, I don't know, maybe a week ago. And uh, on a live stream the other day, Austin, keeping for speed, told me to mix it up and we were going to do a 7x7 seven seven race. Obviously, I wasn't going to finish it, but, you know, just a, something fun to do. So I mixed it up, tried to solve it. I got all the centers, but as you can see, I, it's messed up now because my sisters were over yesterday. Um, and uh, one of them mixed it up, I guess. Um, but yeah, that thing's kind of not going to be solved for a while. And then I have this V cube seven by seven. I think I got this for my as a birthday gift from my aunt. Like I think it was was it this year? I mean last year. Um, might have been two years ago or a year. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's the V cube. It turns horribly because it's V cube. V cube's V cube. Um, and then pyraminxes. I have two. Shing shell pyraminx. I was gonna say something else. Shing shell. Um. It doesn't turn that great because it's not modded, um, which is why I didn't like Pyraminx until I got the Moyu Pyraminx, which is amazing. I mean, it's so smooth. You just listen to it. So good. Um, then, uh, so those are the Pyraminxes. And then I have one square one. It's really bright in here. Maybe if I do this. Oh, there's my other lens at the end of the table. Um, Shing, or Shing Shao. Um, <laughs> 
Uh, wait, what is this? Emma Fate? Is it Emma Fate? I, I totally forgot right now. I think it's Emma Fate. Yeah, it is. Emma Fate, square one. Never learned how to solve it. Um, that's that. Is this zoomed? Yeah, it is. I mean, not zoomed, just focus. Um, and then the skew, Blaine Um, never really gotten to see if I can solve it in like 25, 30 seconds. Um, and I didn't get the Moe one just because I don't really solve it that much, so what's the point in getting another one? Um, and then this Mega Minx, which I didn't finish taking the stickers off and then restickering it, which I actually have really cool stickers. Or, I don't know. I just think the stickers are pretty nice and I never restickered it, so. Solved it like once or twice, uh, intuitive, I never really looked up a tutorial. Um, it's pretty easy to solve by yourself, uh, intuitively. Um, and then this, what is this called? Alright, I had to look it up because I actually forgot the name of it. Um, it's a void puzzle, Rubik's void puzzle cube. Um, solved it maybe once or twice. Um, there's parody on it. Um, I don't know how to do the parody, I just sort of figured it out. Just did M slices and stuff and figured it out, but that's that. Um, I think I found this at Barnes and Noble, but I just thought it was cool to have in my collection just to get. It's like 10 bucks, so why not? Um, and then into 2x2s, I have 4, technically 3 because, or technically 4, but I have 3, but um, I totally said that wrong. Um, that one's broken, which I'll, I will get to in a second. Um, this one is the V-Cube 2x2. Two two. I have some like mini little, is that a caterpillar? I don't know what that is. Um, I actually don't know what that is. Oh hey, you can see me. Where's my camera? Um, yeah, and this, this camera's getting actually pretty heavy. I'm getting off topic. V-Cube 2x2. Um, first 2x2. I was actually really excited about this when I got it. Um, pretty nice. Turns well. Just hard to grip. I'm not good for like speed cubing and stuff. Um, then I have this lane land. 2x2, two two, which is broken, or, no wait, I, th I don't think I can find the, I can't find the other piece to it, so, that's that, um, and then we have, actually, let's go to this one, Ling Po, um, I hate this, I hate to say this, but I hate it, I really don't like it, um, it's pretty, like, it's, like, uncontrollable, and the noise just bothers me, Feels like it catches sometimes on the screws. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, and then the last one in my main. Sorry if the camera's still there. Um, Dying 2x2. This is the 50mm. I actually think the Limpo is 51. Right? Yeah. Um, this one, so smooth. Um, yeah, I'm just. I like it. I'm not that into 2x2, but you know, it's. it's Nice to have, um, just for like relays and random solves, I guess. But those are all my cubes. Hope you guys enjoyed. 46 puzzles in total. And yeah, so my favorite puzzle. I'm actually gonna pick a favorite puzzle. I don't know. My favorite puzzle for three by three would probably just be Mini Along. I, I love it. It's awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I haven't done a cube collection video since June. Eight months, pretty long. Um, and I had two cubes coming out on Wednesday, like I said, so those won't be in this cube collection, but you'll see them when I unbox them. If you like watching my videos, please subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.